How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about five stocks that you need to watch out for coming on Monday and also for the rest of the week. But I want to make sure that you're prepared for it. And the best part about it is all of these stocks got short squeeze potential. I know you guys will be excited about that. Plus on top of that, as far as for the overall technical setup, there is some potential there. So the first stock that we're going to be covering is Pfizer. Yes, Pfizer does have short squeeze potential with a short interest around 46%. If you haven't heard already on the news, it's been on CNBC, they might get their full FDA approval on Monday for their COVID vaccine. I know it's ran up quite a bit, but some key levels that you wanna look out for is around $48.50 and as well as 50 bucks. These are key levels that I'm gonna be keeping an eye on as far as for my trading strategy. I do not need a big move in this stock to make money. I play off of options, so depending on what the setup looks like, I'll be looking into getting some calls or I might be getting some puts, but it's definitely gonna be some momentum as this week progresses and if they even get the approval on Monday, you already know what possibly could happen. And for the second stock, it's going to be Vivo Power. You know, this stock is actually very interesting to me because I remember this is used to be one of the biggest pump and dumps. So it's known even if you take a look at the chart, it will have its steady price movement, then it'll have a spike, then sell off, spike, then sell off. But since they do have earnings coming out on Monday, can we look forward to seeing another spike? Yes, this can be a possibility. It did run up a little bit in after hours on the Friday, but nothing too serious. I think it was around 3%, but I look at it like, this. If they end up putting out some good earnings, this stock, as far as short interest is concerned, is over 70%. So as far as short squeeze is concerned, we could easily get one if we get a lot of buying volume. And I think that would be cause if we end up getting some good earnings, like I said. So the key level I'm going to be looking out for this play is around $5.15. It could possibly end up having a lot of momentum going into earnings, which is at 8.30 a.m. And that's going to be Eastern standard time. So definitely keep it on your watches because you never know what can happen when it comes to this particular stock. And also to kind of give you a quick little bit of a heads up, I know you're going to be taking a look at the chart as well. The last time it had a strong spike got to the $8 range and that's just something for you to keep in mind. I'm not saying it's going to go back there again on Monday or as the week progresses, but for the most part, you could see, hey, what things could possibly look like if earnings end up being good. Now for the third stock, we're going to be talking about charge point. You guys, know how much I love ChargePoint as a long-term investment, but hey, this stock has gotten beaten down quite a bit. It's actually down 10% in the past week. So I'm looking for momentum. Is there going to be more volume coming in? Are we going to have more retail traders as well as investors wanting to buy in due to the fact that the price is fairly low? And in regards to getting updates on the infrastructure bill that will be coming within weeks or within a month like we talked about in the last video. These are all possibilities to consider and I think it's worth keeping it on your watch list. Another thing is when it comes to short squeeze potential, we got the short volume ratio right around 49%. So you know if we have a lot of buying a volume coming through this stock, then charge point can really move. I wouldn't be shocked if this week it ends up going to 24, 23, or even possibly $25. But for the most part, it really doesn't matter to me whether it hits those levels or not. But I'm just kind of letting you guys know what you want to look out for. As far as key levels are concerned, we want to see it being able to hold up $19.50 and as well as that $20 range, like I was speaking about. And like like I said, I do options. So even if it moves a dollar or 75 cents, I catch it at that key support level, ride that move to the upside. That's pretty good profits. And for the next stock, which will be number four, will be Cleveland Cliffs. A key support level you want to look out for is around $22.70. And in regards to the short interest, it is at 60%. So of course it has short squeeze potential. This is going to be an infrastructure play. This is a company that focuses on steel 
and as well as iron. When it comes to the infrastructure bill, I want you guys to understand, you just don't want to be focusing on EVs. You want to make sure you have exposure to the whole piece of the pie. So as far as this play is concerned, you're going to want to see it hold up support. If it ends up breaking through support, and when I was taking a look at the chart, doesn't look like the best setup. But if it's able to hold support, then of course we can look forward to seeing that pop getting into the mid 23s or higher. I'd be looking out for 24. But like I said, if you're doing options, you really don't need that big of a move to make some really good money off of this play. And for the last and fifth stock that is on this list, but you know what? This is actually one of the most powerful stocks I must say is Mike strategy. This is in the Bitcoin space. I know you probably haven't heard of it that much, but I must say I love this stock. So we see Bitcoin will be making that move to 50k, especially going in on Monday or one of the things we're going to be looking out for. But if it's able to actually do that, the micro strategy can really take off. A key support level that I want to see hold up is around $680. And as far as for the short interest is concerned, which is the lowest out of all these stocks that I talked about, it is around 44%. So that is still significant. Like I said, when we look for plays that have short squeeze potential, it tends to be 21% or higher. So it's still doubled that amount. And due to the fact if you're going to be playing off of options for this particular play, you can make some really good money because this is the kind of stock that can move 50 to $80 at a time within a single day. So I would highly suggest you do your homework and you do your due diligence because if you're going to take the option route, you could definitely lose a lot of money. And if you are going to be buying shares, you want to make sure that you have your right stop loss in place, but you should have that overall for your trading strategy. But when it comes to these plays, one thing I want to let you guys know, if you're not going to be able to monitor the performance, monitor the movements, seeing how the stock is actually moving, then please step back just step back. This may not be right for you because these plays can be very volatile. And as far as micro strategy, I feel that's like the number one stock in the crypto sector, in my personal opinion. There are other stocks that you can play like Hive, Hut, SOS, Ebon. Um, you got Mara. You also got Riot and so on. Again, those are other stocks you can play, but micro strategy, I feel like it's the king of all of them because the way how it moves is very similar to Bitcoin. So those are the five stocks that I wanted to share with you guys today but one thing that I want to bring to your attention if you take a look at all of the picks that I just went over these are solid companies these are not pump and dumps you do not have to go out there and buy hundreds of shares and so forth if you get into options like we do inside of the private discord all you really need is a dollar to a two dollar move and you could really smash it on your returns in regards to profits but for the one stock though micro strategy that is a little bit different but due to the fact it can move 50 to $80 at a time if you buy options and you're able even to get it close to the bottom or even at the middle, you could still make some really good returns. So that's why I really want to emphasize that fact. And then on top of that, all of these stocks are mainly owned by institutions or corporations, insiders, and so forth. When you're inside of plays that are mainly owned by retail investors and traders, you're going to be seeing a ton of volatility. You're going to be seeing the price go up and down like a roller coaster. So if you're the type of person that wants to kind of stay away from plays like that, then these five stocks that I talked about are one of the stocks, not even one of them, but all of them should be on your watch list even after Monday and especially for the rest of the week. And even if you want to keep them on longer so you can see how they actually perform and come up with a trading strategy, that'll be right for you. I almost forgot to say in regards to Vivo Power, why I wanted to bring a little bit more attention to it, it does have a pretty tiny float with 7.5 million shares. So I know many of you are going to be excited to hear that because if you have a lot of volume coming through that stock, then like I said, it could really start taking off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video i wanted to do something a little bit different for you guys and yeah let me know inside the comments what you think about it we'll talk